Since the dawn of time, the inhabitants of our world have looked to the skies and pondered about the existence of invaders from outer space. The question of whether we are alone in the universe has finally been answered. And as our brave men in uniform, those howling leathernecks, risk life and limb to keep the alien horde at bay, John Q. Public furrows his brow and wonders whether all this hostility and military machismo is really necessary in this battle of wits between Sam and Max versus the Uglyons from outer space. Our story begins on a night not so long ago when from the blackest pocket of the universe came the Uglyons. A cold, emotionless race of sky dwellers who set sail for this island Earth, not in search of peace, but to satisfy their hunger for human flesh. Vile, disgusting creatures are they, devoid of all humanity, intent on satiating their primitive urges without any concern for the pain and suffering they will undoubtedly inflict. Oh, it makes me just want to scream, I'm so mad them with their big weapons and superior intellect. I bet they wouldn't be so tough without those. Without those, I bet they'd just be babies. Go on, babies. Go crying home to mama before we Earthlings really give you something to... This is the scene here at Grover's Mill as hundreds of people have gathered in the shadow of this otherworldly device to be forever linked with this historic event. As yet, there's been no activity to speak of, but it's still early, and I'm certain that... Wait, something's happening, I think. Yes, someone's coming out. People of Earth, heed my words. Smith, party of four. Table for Smith, party of four. Yes, for a close encounter of the succulent kind, beam yourself down to the Frying Saucer Restaurant. The Frying Saucer, where the food isn't the only thing that's out of this world. This is quite the place, Sam. Nice atmosphere. I like that it's breathable. I'm speaking from experience when I say the decor is remarkably authentic. I'm particularly amused by all the hokey costumes and overdone theatrics of the personable staff. Notice how they only haul the most ravishing, just swooned babes to their shrieking demise? They've really done their homework. Who wants my skin? No! Let go! Help! Help me, please! I think they mean it! Looks like everybody's in on the act. This is all just in fun, right? Stays only for your pleasure and amusement. Uh, if you guys will excuse me, I have to go to the little geek's room. If it's all just an act, why doesn't anybody come back? Gee, for a small restaurant, they sure have a lot of freezers. <gasps> Just in time. They brought our food and took Max. So long, little buddy. Bye, Sam. No! We gotta stop them. They're not actors. Well, I admit they lack the theatrical chops of a Mr. Bob Saget. Let go of him! Run for it, Max! These guys are for real! Ah! We don't mind you yokes handling our food. But we do draw the line at you handling our women, folk. We're leaving now. And you can forget about the tip! Quick, we gotta locate Colonel Korn, the base commander. Split up! Colonel Korn. I'm sure he'll be all ears. Afternoon, folks. I'm Sergeant Stone, and it's my duty to welcome you to the visitor's tour. Shouldn't we be looking for Colonel Korn, Sam? We are, little buddy. If this tour is worth the price of admission, we should be quick-stepping past military higher-ups and naturalistic poses in a matter of minutes. A few things you can do for me today. Stay with the group. No talking. No photos. No taking notes. Do not touch anything. Do not ask me about UFOs or aliens. In fact, do not ask any questions at all! 
Any questions? Excuse me, Sergeant. Will we be seeing any aliens on this tour? Something wrong with your brain? There are no aliens here! Those stories are media fabrications, and that is the last I want to hear about it! Are we clear? Sir, yes, yes sir. sir! Good! Now follow me. Eyes right! Here we see the recently painted mess hall. Eyes right! Here, you see a plaque commemorating our glorious victory over the foreigners in one place or another. Eyes down! As you can see, this asphalt was recently resurfaced. What's going on around here? Colonel Korn, do you know what's going on out there? The entire base is overrun with aliens! Heck, we invited them! Lured them from across the cosmos to take pot shots at them like living skeet in order to justify rampant overspending on military weapons that have no practical use. It was a hoot until we found out these things from another world were a highly advanced and indestructible race. Oh, well, who knew? And with no way to stop the Uglians, they started carrying out their prime directive. The freezing and unloading of as much human takeout as their ships could carry. It's too bad, really. Why are you telling me all this? Because I'm tired of keeping decent, hard-working citizens like y'all in the dark. <laughs> Actually, I'm in a big hurry to join the rest of the boys down in the bomb shelter. Our long-range nuclear missiles ought to be taking out all of them frying saucer locations any minute now. Nuclear weapons? Are you crazy? <laughs> them ugly aunts will never know what hit them. <laughs> oh, no! This can't be! I gotta find Sam and Matt! have been neutralized in your military's foolish attempt to beat us. They cannot help you anymore. No! It's not possible! Do what you want with me. But tell me, what happened to Sam and Max? <gasps> Relax, Geek. This was all just a clever, albeit icky ruse to get inside an actual flying saucer. And within arm's reach of the controls. <laughs> Hers like a warm kitten. This is the kind of thing that puts the joy in Joyride. Uh, boys, can we get down to business here? The human race has been totally wiped out. What are we gonna do about it? Maybe we could rebuild it from scratch. You could clone an entire civilization of us. Or we could fly around the Earth really fast in reverse time. Or better yet, we could just mess with this time displacement dial right here on the dash. That's it! The Uglians have mastered time travel. We'll just set this futuristic doohickey to send us back to the point in time before the Uglions arrived on Earth. And voila! It's like Armageddon never happened. That restores mankind and all. But what's to stop the Uglians from carrying out their recipe for world conquest all over again? I say we change that recipe. People of Earth, hate my words. Hey, what's that on his face? What? It's what are they pointing at? Oh my god, it's a piece of face! Pimple, pimple! Stop! Oh, look at us! We're ugly! The Russians off! It's like quickly! Wow! What did you guys do? It was simple, really. We just changed the key ingredient in their recipe for doom from fresh frozen earthlings to chocolate junkies. You see, Geek, after collecting and consuming all that chocolate and error, we knew that the Uglians, a prideful race, would be so embarrassed by their ensuing facial eruptions that they'd abandon their profane plans for Earth and retreat to their galaxy wracked with self-doubt and insecurity, like so many teens on picture day. Defeated, after all man's devices and defenses had failed, by the humblest things that God, in his wisdom, has put on this earth. Sam and Max, freelance police, right? No, zits. Pay attention. You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> or is 
Zeds.